Shalom, everyone. I'd like to invite you to rise as our distinguished guest speaker, Luis Har's daughters, Natalie and Karin, are going to lead us in the lighting of the Shabbat candles. I want to invite us all to take a moment and to absorb all of the holy light of love and hope, reunions and miracles into our hearts on this special Shabbat commit ourselves to sharing that light and shedding that light, that hope, that joy, that love for the whole world, especially with those who remain in captivity. Let's bring in that ruach, cover our eyes, and sing the blessing over the Shabbat candles together. person beside you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. If you know them and love them, give them a hug and a kiss. You may be seated. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Page 12. <laughs> of psalms that prepare us for Shabbat, beginning with L'chun and Ranana. Let's sing songs to God, page 22. Amen. 
Light is on for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Exalt the Lord, all you righteous, and give thanks to God's holy name. Or Zaru al Tzadik, bottom of page 26. speaks of praising God, not only with the words of our hearts, but the instruments of our hands. Zamrul Adonai Bechinor, middle of page 28.
prayer of the Kabbalat Shabbat service on 38 and 40 imagines the Jewish people so ecstatic, so enthusiastic to greet Shabbat that they analogize it to perhaps what they imagine was the most passionate greeting between two people, a bride and a groom, or a groom and his bride the kind of joy and elation that we imagine a groom having upon seeing the face of his bride on his wedding night is the way our sages understood how we should prepare to greet Shabbat. And I think it's a beautiful analogy and it has withstood the test of time throughout the generations, but I want to propose tonight another meeting, another reunion, 
another face-to-face -face encounter that may even perhaps surpass the joy and the happiness and the love that a groom feels upon seeing his bride. And that is when I saw Natalie and Karin hug and greet their father, Luis, both here in our sanctuary and also, of course, on the news and on social media, all of those families of hostage members who were released in November. And then and again in February, those reunions were so impactful, so emotional, so unimaginable that I want us all to imagine greeting Shabbat with that same love, that same hope, that same connection that loved ones felt upon having been reunited with their loved ones after praying for them and hoping for them and yearning for them for so long. Let's greet Shabbat in this way, just as we will greet Luis Har and his beloved family who have graced us with their presence at ATJC on this Shabbat. Join with us 38 and 40. L'chadodi.
seated. On page 42, we find the psalm for the day of Shabbat, a psalm that speaks about gratitude. There's so many things to be grateful for. Your presence here is enough of a reason to offer this psalm. Seeing our congregation packed to engage with each other with Shabbat, to listen to the testimony of our dear guest, Luis, we are grateful for you being here. It's good to thank God for that. It's good to thank you, O Lord. Top of page 42. will flourish like the palm tree they will thrive like the cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord they will flourish in the courts of our God Tzadik Katamari Frach bottom of page 42 Tzadik Katamari I'm a 
Kaddish for those among us in mourning and those observing your site, page 124. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabbah. Amen. Vialma, Divra, Hirite, Vyamlich, Malchute, Vachayechon, Vyamechon, Vchaye, the whole Beit Yisrael, Baagala, Vizman, Kariv, Imru, Ame. Yehe, Shemei Rabbah, Mivorach, Olam, Omei, Omaya. Yitbarach, Vishtabach, Vitbar, Vitromam, Vietnase. Vit Adar, Vit Ale, Vit Alal, Shmei de Kudisha, Brechu, Ela, Min Kol Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechamata, the Amiran Biama, Vimru Ame, Yehe, Shlama, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Mechaim, Aleno, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vimru Ame, Ose Shalom, Vimramav, Huya Ase Shalom, Aleno, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vimru. I may invite the rest of the congregation to rise in body or spirit. The call to worship the blessings of the Baruch Hu, page 50. <laughs> We turn to page 60 for the song of freedom, the song of redemption, the song of celebrating that we are free. Very soon we will be together sitting at the set at the cedar table. And we hope that by then everyone can sing that they are free. 
as the Israelites sang when they were led by Miriam and all the women as we crossed the Red Sea. Tonight we sing together, Who is like you, Adonai, among the mighty? Mi chamocha ba'elim Adonai, bottom of page 60. and shelter in the darkness. Page 62. Hashkivay. send your hope, to the forgotten and the lonely send your love, to the confused and the distressed send your light, to the weary and the wronged send renewed strength, to the pursuers of justice send wisdom and faith, to the seekers of peace send unwavering resolve, to Jerusalem and its people send tranquility and joy, to the world tonight send the blessing of Shalom.
As we proclaim the sanctity of Shabbat, page 64 of the Shambhur. For privately the words of the Amidah between pages 69 and 76, either in the Hebrew or the translation or any private prayers of your heart.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I've already broken down before the tefillah even began because a few weeks before the Super Bowl, I was at Moe's Deli, where many of us frequent. Some of us also frequent Bagel Cove, and that's okay, but no one's going to be frequenting either of those places in a few weeks. We came to hear from one of America's strongest uh, pro-Israel representatives in Congress, Richie Torres. It's not a political statement, it's just a fact. And he was there presenting, and I sat at the only available seat that was there, and it happened to be next to Natalie. Natalie was here in the United States advocating for her father, Luis, and others who were still held hostage. And we sat together, and I heard a little bit of her story. She had the opportunity to meet the congressman and to tell him what so many of us have been telling all of our elected officials to do whatever they can to put pressure on Hamas to let the rest of the hostages go and to be sure to stand with Israel until Israel finishes the job that it needs to finish. And in the middle of the Super Bowl, we all saw the news and that following Shabbat, Rabbi Guido and I spent 25 minutes diving deeply into the details of that raid, of the months of preparation that went into it, the thousand soldiers that prepared all of the heads of the various security personnel in the IDF and in the state of Israel who were in the control room making sure that the two diamonds, that was the code word for the hostages during that rescue, were extracted and brought back to their families for an emotional reunion. And as soon as I saw Natalie, it was clear how much lighter she looked. The weight had been removed from her shoulders, and it was so striking to see just in her body language the change from the first time we met and from this amazing, holy opportunity that we have been given tonight to celebrate Shabbat with Luis Har himself. So without further ado, we're going to turn the microphone over to my dear Chavruta friend and colleague, Rabbi Guido. 
and we are going to welcome up Luis, who's going to present in, I think, Spanish primarily, maybe a little Hebrew. And let's give him a warm welcome and a rousing Yochim Habayim Baruch Haba to Aventura Turnberry Jewish Center. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to try to translate. I know many of you will understand the Spanish, and some of you will trust my translation. Luis, quiero empezar preguntándote acerca del lugar en el cual vivías hasta el 6 de octubre a la noche, hasta el 7 de octubre a la mañana. I want to ask him about the place in which he lived until October 7th in the morning, your kibbutz, your family, your community. When did you make Aliyah? What was your life before October 7th? Who are you? Who I was. Yo llegué a Israel en el año 71. I arrived in Israel in 1971. En el 73 ya era soldado y participé en la guerra de Yom Kippur. In 1973, I joined the IDF. I participated in the Yom Kippur War. Y otras guerras más. And other wars. En el kibbutz Urim, donde yo vivo, at kibbutz Urim, where I live, queda a 12 kilómetros de la frontera. It's 12 kilometers from the border. Llegué en el año 83. I arrived there in 1983. Y yo trabajaba en la contaduría del kibbutz. And I worked in the accounting department of the kibbutz. Hasta el mediados del año 23 en el que salí de pensión. 23. Until 2023 that I retired. Ok. Desde el año 2001. Since 2001. Estoy en pareja con Clara, que eh, es la segunda oportunidad. <laughs> my partner and my second opportunity is called Clara. Quiere decir que ya van a ser dentro de poco 23 años que estamos juntos. It's going to be soon 23 years together. Pero ella vive en el kibbutz near Itzhak. She lives in kibbutz near Itzhak. Que queda a 4 kilómetros de la frontera. Which is 4 kilometers from the border. Y los campos están realmente frente a Gaza. And the fields are really overlooking Gaza. Four, four kilometers is like two miles. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. La noche, el día anterior, o sea, el 6 de octubre, festejamos en Beersheba, El segundo cumpleaños de la nieta de Clara. October 6th, we celebrated in Beersheba the second birthday of uh, Clara's granddaughter. Y entonces, invitó a venir a dormir al kibbutz a los hermanos de ella, que son Fernando. And she invited her siblings to come over to the kibbutz. Fernando. Fernando y Gabriela. And Fernando. Gabriela. Fernando Gar recuerzaba y Gabriela... Fernando Gar lives in Parsava and Gabriela vive in eh, Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Eh, ella vino también con la, con la hija que se llama Mia y okay. una perrita. He came with her daughter Mia and a little dog, Bella. Bella. We all know Bella. Okay. Entonces, la cena del Yom Shishi la hicimos en Nirishat. We had Friday dinner at near Itzhak. Y se quedaron a dormir. They all slept over. Cerca de las seis de la mañana empezaron a ver eh, misiles. Six a.m. We there were rockets, missiles. <coughs> Escuchamos la alarma que en ese lugar se dice Tsevadom. 
We heard the, the red code siren. Y fuimos todos al mamat. We went to the safe. Pero vimos que no es como siempre una o dos veces o, o tres máximo, sino que cada vez más, más, más. Y vimos que el ruido de las salidas de como nos tiraban misiles era inmenso. We saw that it was unlike the usual days in which they would hear that siren because there was more and more and more and they could hear the missiles going over them. Y prendimos la televisión. They turned on the TV. Y vimos que había terroristas viajando con las camionetas de Toyota blancas en Sderot. Then we saw that the terrorists were driving these pickup, uh, white pickup trucks, the Toyotas, in the city of Sderot. Tirando para todos lados, matando a gente. Shooting in every direction, killing people. Y también empezamos a ver que entraban en los kibbutzim, vimos que entraban en Beri. And we saw in the TV that they started to enter the kibbutzim, they entered Beri. Y hubo un, anun un anuncio de Netanyahu que estamos en guerra. And Netanyahu announced that we were at war. Bueno, yo estuve en contacto con mis hijos que me, que me preguntaban cómo estamos, dónde estamos y les dije estamos seguros en el mamat. I was in touch with my children that they were asking me how are you, where are you and our response was were safe in the safe room. Y de golpe empezaron a ver eh, en el WhatsApp que gente que pedía auxilio, que escuchaban árabe por todos lados, que había tiros por todo el kibbutz. Suddenly they read in the WhatsApp group that people were asking for help, that there were shootings all over the kibbutz, that people were listening listening to other people talking in Arabic y pidiendo ayuda. and asking for help. Lo último que le dije a mis hijos que todavía no habían entrado en la casa de Clara. The last thing I told my kids is that they had not entered Clara's house yet. De pronto sentimos ruidos en la puerta. Suddenly we'll listen Noises on the other side of the door. Y yo puse en el WhatsApp, entraron. And I put in the WhatsApp, they are in. Y tiré mi teléfono detrás de la computadora. And I threw my phone behind the computer. Empezamos a sentir ruidos que rompían vidrios, las puertas. Todo lo que había en el camino, ellos rompían. Sentíamos tiros por todos lados. We start feeling the noises, the shooting, glasses being broken, doors being broken, everything they saw, they broke. Entonces dijimos, vamos a abrazarnos y a estar juntos. Y así nos agachamos todos en el piso, abrazados, apoyando uno al otro. And so we said, let's, let's embrace each other, let's hug each other, and be on the floor, holding each other. De golpe sentimos que empujaron la puerta del mamat y empezaron a tirar tiros adentro. At some point we hear that they pushed the door of the safe room and they are shooting now inside. Pero desde afuera y el ángulo de la puerta nos salvó que nos den a nosotros. Pasaron muy cerca nuestro. They were shooting from the outside and because of the angle of the door we were safe. The, the shooting, the bullets were passing very close to them. Entonces entraron y seguían tirando pero hacia arriba y nosotros estamos en el piso. They, they came in and they were shooting upwards as we were lying on the floor. Y empezamos a gritar, no tiren, no tiren. We started yelling, don't shoot, don't shoot. Brutalmente nos han empujado y nos han sacado afuera gritando go, go, go. Brutally they pushed us outside, screaming go, go, go. 
Y ahí nos decían, en hebreo, decían, mafteach, mafteach, oto, oto. And they would say in Hebrew, the key, the key, the key for the car. Nos hicimos lo que no entendíamos. We play dumb. We... En ese momento, uno de los terroristas se puso frente a mí. Ellos tienen como un pañuelo que les tapa la, la boca. Se lo sacó, así, y empezó a gritarme en árabe, brutalmente. Yo no le entendí nada. Pero pensaba, le contesto, digo algo que no entiendo, que nada, pero pensé mejor mi vida, mejor callarme. No dije nada, solamente lo miré en los ojos. So at some point one of the terrorists starts yelling at me in Arabic. He, was, he had a kerchief covering his head and he lowers that covering and he starts screaming. And then I thought, should I reply? Should I not reply? But I said, my life comes first. So I didn't reply. I look at him in the eyes. Los ojos eran grandes, hinchados, estaban drogados completamente. His eyes were, were big, were clearly signs of uh, him being under influence of some drugs. Y ahí fue cuando los que nos sacaron del Ramat eh, nos siguieron empujando y nos dijeron afuera, afuera. So they kept pues, pushing us outside, outside. Y así fuimos, me salvé de ese terrorista que estaba frente a mí. I was saved from that terrorist and they kept going outside. Dentro de la casa estaba lleno de terroristas que estaban rompiendo todo, los vidrios, las ventanas, sacaban la ropa del de, de ropero, era un desastre mirar The house was filled with terrorists, they would break everything they saw, they would take the clothes out of the wardrobes. Así empujándonos bruscamente, las mujeres estaban en camisón, The women were in their night dresses, Nosotros night con uh, pan, pajamas, like we, they, they were with uh, some pants. Nosotros, yo tenía un pantalón corto y una remera que me puse. He was in shorts and with a t-shirt. Y nos hicieron pasar por un agujero que había en el alambre. And they made them pass through a hole that was made in the fence. De golpe vimos que Gabriela la hija y la perra no estaban. We saw that Gabriela, her daughter, and the dog were not there. La subieron a una Toyota blanca y se la llevaron. They took them into a white a Toyota and they were taken away. Todo alrededor había autos en llamas. All around there were cars that were set on fire. También la fábrica se veía humo negro que salía. The factory, they, they would see from the factory also black smoke. Nosotros estamos fuera del kibbutz. Ya. We were already outside campos, the kibbutz. Y de golpe llega una camioneta blanca. And that white picket prop arrives. Y nos, nos hicieron subir, que era la misma camioneta donde estaban Gabriela y la hija y la perra. They loaded them into the same picket pickup truck where Gabriela and her daughter were. Estábamos sentados sobre armas, bombas, estaba todo lleno de... We were sitting on weapons and bombs. Y subieron cinco terroristas encima nuestro, parados con las armas. Five terrorists came into the truck, standing on us with their weapons. Eh, no les importaba si nos pisaban, no nos pisaban, nada. They, they wouldn't care if they stepped on them. They, they couldn't care less about anything. Tenían un arma colgada y con el otro arma tiraban hacia arriba y gritaban a la Akbar. One gun hanging and another one shooting upwards and screaming a la Akbar. Ahí vimos que venían jóvenes, niños, todos corriendo por todos lados y estaban llevándose bicicletas, juegos de niños, todo lo que habían encontrado, estaban robando todo lo que había en el kibbutz, destrozando. We saw 
young people and even children taking bicycles, taking whatever they could take from the, from the kibbutz, robbing everything that was there, destroying everything. Bueno, el manejo era una cosa terrible. Los caminos de tierra en dirección a la frontera. The driving was terrible. They, they would drive on, on the grass on their way to the border. Y una de las armas nos pegaba en la cabeza. A mí me lastimó toda esta parte. Sí, de And the weapons were hitting them in the, in the head. <coughs> He was injured. Y Clara intentó eh, atajarlo, que no, no nos peguen. Yo le bajé la mano y le dije, no hay que tocar las armas, van a pensar que queremos sacárselas y nos matan en el momento. Clara tried to stop the weapon from hitting his head and, and he stopped her and said don't touch the weapons because they will think that we are trying to steal them and they are going to kill us. Thank you. Al llegar a la frontera vimos dos ambulancias. At the border we saw two ambulances. De ellos. Their ambulances. Y estaban tirando adentro cadáveres de gente israelí. They were throwing corpses of Israeli people into the ambulances. Si sí, seguimos, nos fueron llevando, pasamos la frontera, nos fueron llevando por caminos, todo el tiempo saltaba la camioneta. We Así kept going golpes. all the way from a different path. It was a bumpy road. El golpe paró y se empezaron a acercar varios jóvenes que parecía que nos iban a hacer un lynch. At, at some point, a lot of young people gathered around the pickup truck and, and they were afraid that they were going to be lynched. Entonces ahí arrancó nuevamente y se escapó de ese lugar por they suerte. Took off again the, the truck and was able to run away from that, from that place. Bueno, llegamos ahí entre las casas y nos hicieron bajar. We arrived to where the homes were, they brought us down. Y nos metieron en un túnel. And they brought us into the tunnel. Al principio el túnel tenía un declive chico, pero de golpe empezó a ir más hondo, más hondo. Estuvimos más o menos entre 30 y 40 metros debajo de la tierra. So at some point the tunnel would have a sharp decline and they would go 40 meters underground. Por supuesto que todo este tiempo nos empujaban, nos pegaban con las armas y nosotros iban dos adelante y dos atrás. Throughout all this they, they would push us, they would hit us with their weapons, two in the front, two in the back. Oscuridad completa, no se veía nada. Complete darkness. A veces el piso estaba, había que saltar o había que ir agachados porque no había suficiente altura. At some point they had to jump or to lie down because the height of the tunnel was not sufficient for them to, to pass. Y yo siempre estaba cerca de Clara para poder ayudarla a subir, a bajar. A And I stayed all the time close to Clara to help her. Por supuesto que todo esto es, nos daba mucho miedo, estábamos en shock total. Needless to say, we were in shock, we were scared. Cada puerta que abrían, porque había como puertas de hierro, yo pensaba, bueno, llegamos al lugar donde nos quedamos. So every door, every iron door that was open, you would think, We're here, we, we finally arrived to the place where, we, where they want to take us. Eh, más o menos estuvimos dentro, así corriendo, todo el tiempo, unas dos horas y media, tres. More or less we run in the tunnels for two and a half hours or three hours. De golpe nos, eh, nos hicieron esperar sentados, o sea, en, en la tierra. At some point they asked them to, to sit down on the, on the soil, on the earth, they made them wait. Y empezaron a llevarnos uno a uno. And they took us one by one. Yo no sabía dónde, no, no sabía lo que era. I didn't know where, I didn't know what, what this was. 
era una, como una escalera, habían como pedazos de fierro puestos en la tierra. It was like, like a ladder, like a, like a poorly built ladder with, with pieces of metal on, on the soil, on the ground. Y empezamos a subir, al que lo resultaba difícil, lo ataron con solas para poder subirlo. We started to climb that ladder, and for those for whom it was challenging, they would tie them with a rope, to just pull them up. Cuando llegamos, de golpe vimos la luz del día. And then when we made it, we saw the sunlight. Estábamos en un gallinero de gansos. ¿Qué me dice cómo se dice gallinero? <laughs> we were in a, in, in a chicken house. In a chicken coop. In a ch chicken coop with geese. Bueno, ahí nos dieron ropa de árabes a los hombres. Nos dieron las jarabías. They, la... they, they gave us clothes, Arabic clothes, uh, jarabías. Y a las mujeres las vestimentas que se ve solamente los ojos. And to the women, these clothes that we, you only see the eyes. Otra vez empujándonos, nos llevaron uno a uno. Era todo un campo de espina. Again, pushing them one by one through a field that was filled with thorns. Y entramos a una casa. Había una mesa. Y ahí nos dijeron que podemos entrar al baño. No. We entered the house, there was a table, there were restrooms, they, they were told that they could use the restrooms. Y pudimos entrar al baño, lavarnos la cara, they could las wash, manos. Wash their face, wash their hands. Y después de unos minutos, otra vez, uno por uno, nos fueron sacando fuera. And after some time, Again, one by one, they would take them outside. Entramos en un coche bastante viejo y éramos cuatro atrás, que eran las tres mujeres con la perra, todo, y, y yo, y adelante se sentó Fernando. They were brought into another car, a very old car, in the back, the three women, the dog, and Luis, in the front, Fernando. Y un terrorista se subió encima de él, con la... El arma en el costado. Another terrorist with the weapon sitting on Fernando's lap. Y entonces agarraba la puerta porque no la podía cerrar. Entonces la agarraba así que y so empezamos they a viajar. So they hold the door of the car because they couldn't close it. it so crowded they couldn't close it and they started. So, así como locos right. viajamos en, el, en esas callejuelas de driving like crazy de in these narrow streets of Gaza. Hasta que llegamos a una casa, un portón, lo cerraron y otra vez uno por uno nos iban subiendo por escaleras. Until they made it into another house, they closed the door behind them and they start climbing the ladders. There's. Bueno, cuando llegamos afuera vino otro, ahí cambiaron, cada vez iban cambiando los grupos. The people, they, they, they would change, the people who were taking them would change in every post. Nosotros hablábamos entre nosotros en español. We talked among ourselves in Spanish. Y desde ese momento le fuimos poniendo nombres, sobrenombres, a cada uno de los terroristas que veía. And from that moment we would give nicknames in Spanish to each of the terrorists. Así vamos sabiendo quién entraba, quién salía, quién entraba. So that we could know who, who was in, who was out. So este, este era el lugar en donde finalmente... No, we're not yet at the place where they spent 129 dollars. The first man that welcomed us there, we called them the, the, the owner of the house. Y lo primero que hizo es calmarnos y decirnos, los hemos raptado para tenerlos como rehenes poder cambiarlos. And the first thing he said, he, he calmed us down and he said you were kidnapped so that we can keep you hostage in order to exchange you. Y eso realmente nos calmó. That really calmed us down. Bueno. 
Ahí empezamos a ver otros terroristas que venían eh, con armas, entraban, salían, entraban, salían, hasta que... We start seeing more terrorists coming in, coming out with their weapons. De golpe nos, nos trajeron una, un pedazo de pan, una lachmania. They brought us a piece of bread. Con carne embutida, que se llama luf. With, es with, de lo que se da en el ejército. Okay, with, with the kind of meat that you eat in the army, canned Entonces, meat. Estaba cortada en pedazos adentro del pan y eso es lo que comimos. in pieces inside the bread and that's what we ate. Es por primera vez en todo el día. For the first time in the whole day. Bueno, el dueño de casa realmente nos cuidaba, pero había otro que lo llamábamos el nutnik. There was another guy we would call the nutnik. Porque desde un primer momento nos acusaba y nos provocaba. Because since the first moment he would arrest them and provoke them. Y decía, hoy es un gran día, un día histórico. And he would say, today is a big day, is a historic day. Hemos vencido al gran ejército de Israel. We have defeated the great Israeli army. Este día se va a recordar por todo el tiempo. This, this day will be remembered forever. Y decía eso, iba con el arma, así como un tabaz. He would walk with his, with his gun like this and saying all these things. Entre nosotros. Y empezó a molestarla a, a Mía, a la sobrina. He started uh, harassing Mía. Él decía que es soltero, que quiere casarse con ella y así. And que quiere ponerle el anillo. He would say that he's single and that he wants to put, place a ring on her, that he wants to marry her. Entonces le dijimos a Mia, Mia, hay que, te tienes que dar vuelta, hacerte la dormida, no mirarlo, no preocuparte por nada de lo que él dice. So we would tell Mia, just don't worry, look, look to the other side, Pretend that you are sleeping and don't worry about anything that he says. Then he would start joking with him. But I, I, I would reply to his jokes. Él se dio cuenta yo me hacía el dormido, pero escuchaba todo lo que él decía y cómo molestaba. He realized that I was pretending to be asleep, but I was actually listening. Y en un momento me di vuelta y le contesté algo. Ni me acuerdo qué. And I, at some point, I, I answered to him. Entonces me dice, ajá, y me dice, eres un zorro. In Spanish? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Then he said, ah, you are a fox. Y me empieza a decir así, me hacía, uh, 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 uh. Cada vez que entraba, entraba y salía, me hacía, uh, uh, uh. Every time he would come in, he would do. Y yo le dije sí. And I, I replied, yes. Eso soy. Y yes, te escucho I todo am. lo que dices. I am and I'm listening to you. Ok. Ese mismo, así como entraba con el arma, de golpe apareció con un cuchillo de comando. So the same, the same man would also appear with, with a knife. Con todos los eh, dientes que tienen. Y los with, with, with all the... Una cosa. Yes, serrated knife like this y lo revoleaba así por todos los shake shake the knife like this so Eso. this is only the first day yes wow nosotros mirábamos y you yeah, will have to bring you again Miramos. vamos a tener que traerlo de vuelta para que cuente okay. los otros 128 <laughs> okay okay ahora empiezo a empiezo a hablar sí rápido rápido no 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 apuro no tenemos bueno, entonces Pero quiero, eh, quiero hacerte una, un, un, una, una espera, pregunta. Espera, preguntamos con esto sí, y sí, sí. me preguntas. Él vino así con el cuchillo, el dueño de casa lo vio y como él prometió que nos iba a cuidar, a los dos días desapareció y no lo vimos nunca más. So the, the guy with the knife was seen by the owner of the house, the one who promised that they were going to take care of them. And as he saw him, after two days, that guy disappeared. The, the nutnik. 
pregunte. So this is only the first, esto es solo el primer día. Y estuviste 129 días en manos de jamás. Mi pregunta es, ¿qué hacías? ¿Cómo hacías para sobrevivir? ¿Qué comías? ¿Qué pensabas? ¿Qué hablaban entre ustedes? I'm asking him about the other 128 days. What, what would they do? What would they eat? How, how did he survive? Eh, el tercer día nos dijeron que nos van a cambiar de casa. The third day they were told that they were going to be switched to another house. Y a la noche realmente otra vez uno por uno nos fueron llevando y nos llevaron a otra casa. Again, one by one, they were taken to another house. En esa casa también nos metieron en un cuarto. They were put in a room. Y ahí estuvimos los cinco más la perra todo el tiempo juntos. Había tres colchones para las mujeres y dos para los hombres separados por una mesa. So there we we spent together the three women, the men. There were there were three uh, mattresses uh, and, and the dog and a table. Ellos sabían que estaba la perra. I'm asking if, if they sí. realized that the dog was. Sí. Por primera them. vez se dieron cuenta en el gallinero cuando estamos con. At the chicken coop they realized that, that the dog was. Por primera vez. For the first time. Nosotros, eh, Mia me pedía todos los días al anochecer. Estábamos así medio oscuras hasta que se nos cerraban las ventanas y las cortinas. Hasta que prendían la luz y todos estábamos así a oscuras, nos sentábamos todos juntos y ella pedía que le cuente una historia. So at night, after sunset, the, when the, the curtains and the windows were closed, and until they turned the lights on, it was all dark, and Mia would ask Luis to tell her a story. Así fue pasando toda mi vida, desde que fui un niño hasta... And so he, he would tell the stories of his whole life since the day he was a kid until, until now. Y todos estaban contentos. Además, so every evening he would tell a story and, and everyone was happy for that moment. Una de las cosas más importantes es que aprendimos a respetarnos unos a otros. One of the most important things is that we learn to respect each other. Y aunque es difícil, porque es muy difícil estar cinco personas ahí sin poder hacer nada. Hablábamos de todo tipo de cosas de importantes para nuestra vida, de la relación con Clara. And even though it's difficult to be there five people all day, we would talk about important things in our life, we would talk about our relationship with Clara. Con respecto a la comida, al principio había muchas cosas y preguntaron, le preguntaron a Clara si sabe cocinar y ella dijo, ah, cocinar, Luis sabe. So, regarding food, at the beginning there were lots of, of things, plenty of things, and they would ask Clara, do you know how to cook? And Clara replied, cook, Luis knows. Así fue como me llevaron a la cocina y me dijeron, Cocina. So they brought me to the kitchen and they told me, cook. ¿Y cocinas de verdad? He is indeed a good cook. Al principio había muchos productos y todo yo hacía shakshuka todas las mañanas. At the beginning there were lots of, of, of products. I would cook shakshuka every morning. Pero de golpe las fuerzas de Israel entraron en casa. Se cerró todo el intercambio de comestibles. But then the IDF entered Gaza and all the, all, all, all the uh, uh, food was, was limited. Y de a poco se fue terminando todo. And at some point they, they ran out of food. Cuando había algo, yo uh, con eso hacía algo. When there was something, with that I would make something. Por ejemplo, arvejas. Peas, for example. Peas? Uh, peas. Entonces había sopa de peas. So I would cook a, a soup with the peas. Something. Los huevos se terminaron. They ran out of eggs. El agua teníamos un poquito de agua cada día para cada uno. They only had a fraction of water, a little tiny bit of water for, for each of them per day. Nosotros cuidábamos de no tirar la cadena del baño solamente cuando hacíamos algo pesado. They would only flush the toilet when there was something heavy. 
y, y vamos controlando. Más o menos cada 10 días traían un, un tacho con agua caliente. Every 10 days they would bring a pot with hot water. Y así nos bañábamos uno a uno, nos íbamos bañando. They would bathe themselves, clean themselves y por with, supuesto with que water. cada uno de nosotros agarramos un poquito de agua para que quede la, para los demás. Y siempre le dejamos medio tacho a Mía, una nena de 17 años. So each of us would take a little bit of water so that the next person would have and we would leave half the bucket for, for Mía, for the young girl. Que ella terminaba todo. <laughs> ella terminaba todo. She, she would consume the rest of the water. También nos cuidábamos con el papel higiénico. We were also Eh, eh, careful with the toilet paper. Que yo todavía así en chiste dije hay, que hay que cortar en pedacitos. Se decía guajat per tajat. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so at some point I understand that part of the group were released as part of the Después exchange. Los, al día 53 Nos avisaron que se van a llevar a las mujeres y al principio nos decían que toda la familia vinimos juntos y nos vamos a ir juntos, pero and they, at the beginning they would they were told that they were they all came together, they would live together, but on day 53 they took the women. El día 53 del cautiverio se llevaron a Clara, Gabriela, la nena y la perra. And on day 53 Clara, Gabriela, Mia and the dog were taken. Que fue el quinto intercambio con prisioneros de eh, las mujeres the fifth terroristas. of the exchanges of prisoners eh, for, for terrorists. De ahí quedamos solos Fernando y yo. So they, they only remained there, Fernando and Luis. Eh, que fue eh, tan fácil. Pero it wasn't easy. Seguimos apoyándonos uno al otro y cada vez que uno se caía, por ejemplo, cuando Netanyahu no firmaba otro otro esquema. Otro, so they, ¿no? conti they continue to support each other, but there were difficult moments like when Netanyahu wouldn't sign another agreement. Entonces estamos así de capa caída. Yeah, they, they, they were they were sad, they were disappointed. Entonces, uno al otro nos decíamos, bueno, hasta estos pensamientos, hay que ser positivo. So they would tell each other, okay, let's stop thinking about this, we have to be optimistic. Y decíamos, este día se termina y sabemos que es un día menos en prisión. Today will be over, and so that means that's one less day in, in captivity. Y así iban pasando los días. So the days passed. Y de golpe decíamos, bueno, ¿a dónde paseamos hoy? And so we would say, where do we want to go today? Y hablamos de ir a Bariloche en Argentina. And we talked about Bariloche in, in Argentina. Ushuaia, las cataratas. Ushuaia, the Iguazu Falls. Y hablábamos el uno con el otro todo el tiempo. And they would talk sí. with each other all the time. O si no, ¿qué preparamos de comer? O they would talk about what do you want to eat. Y así nos pasaban recetas. We would exchange recipes. Planeamos hacer sándwiches de miga. We planned very typical Argentinian sandwiches. Empanadas, pizza, Empanadas, pizza. Así fueron pasando los días. And so the days passed. Hasta que una noche nos fuimos a dormir. Until one night we went to sleep. Fue un día que a mí me dolía mucho el estómago y me tomé. Ah, estuvimos más de tres meses sin ningún medicamento. We spent more than three months without any medicine. Can I, I want to ask something about this because we sometimes read in the news that the Red Cross that they are bringing medicines into Gaza and all of that. You didn't get, no te dieron la Cruz Roja. Nosotros vimos 
el paquete de mis medicamentos con mi nombre cuando entraron las fuerzas de Israel al hospital de Gaza. So the, they saw the medicine, the pills with his name when the IDF entered the hospital in Gaza. Entonces yo tomé eh, después me empezaron a traer pastillas de Egipto. So on, on, on one given day they brought him some pills from Egypt. Yo tengo mucho sufro del estómago de acidez. He had a uh, hurt a born uh, and uh, acid. yeah. Okay. Eh, lo que quería contar es que lo que más me faltaba era el abrazo de mis hijos. What I missed the most was the hug from my children y de mis nietos. And my grandchildren. ¿Cuántos nietos tenés? Tengo diez nietos. He has ten grandchildren. Y cuatro hijos. And four children. Pero me faltaba en el cuerpo el calor del abrazo. I needed in my body the warmth of their embrace. Entonces cada vez que sentía eso me empezaba a llorar. And every time I felt that I would cry. Yo no quería que Fernando te dé cuenta entonces decía ay me molesta este ojo. And I didn't want Fernando to notice that I was crying so I said that I have something in my eyes. Y él me miraba y me decía, otra vez está pensando en tus nietos. And he would look at me and say, again, you're thinking on your grandchildren. Así fuimos pasando todos los días y llegó la última noche. Yo me sentía mal, tomé al mediodía dos pastillas y luego a la noche una más. So I was not feeling well on that evening. I took two pills at noon and then I took another pill in the evening. Y así estuve sentado esperando que se me pase un poco and I was ardor. seated trying to wait for, for the pain to pass me fui a dormir era las once y media doce de la noche around 11.30 I went to sleep de golpe cerca de las dos de la mañana una Suddenly, explosión inmensa around 2 a.m. massive explosion lo primero que pensé es que un avión israelí está explotando el, el edificio. So the first thing that I thought is that an Israeli plane is bombing our building. Eso porque estaba la guerra psicológica que ellos nos decían todos los días que Netanyahu lo único que quiere es eh, saber dónde estamos para poder bombardearnos y no hacer un intercambio. That was due to the psychological warfare in which the terrorists would tell them every day that Netanyahu, all he wants is to know where the hostages are so that he would bomb those places to avoid an exchange. Al sentir la explosión, yo desde el colchón donde estaba, giré hacia adentro, hacia la puerta. When he heard the explosion from the mattress, he rolled towards the door alejándome de la explosión to, to stay away from the explosion o sea hacia los terroristas meaning towards where the terrorists were y ahí fue cuando escuché que me llamaban y me decían Luis para acá para acá and then he heard that the, someone told him Luis here here era Fernando que me llamaba it was Fernando entonces volví así. So he returned to that place. Sin levantar la cabeza porque había tiros por todo lado. Without lados. lifting his head because there were shootings all over the place. Y ahí cuando alguien me agarra la pierna, me tira. Then someone grabs his leg, y me pulls, dice, and says, me dice Luis. And says Luis. Sal, sal. Sal, IDF, IDF. Banu la caja tosca a baita. Es muy emotivo todo esto. Porque... Los soldados hacen muchos ejercicios y 
se preparan para hacer una cosa así. Soldiers train a lot to do something like this. Pero lo que yo sentí es el corazón de ellos. But what I what I felt was their heart. En ese momento, todos los miedos, todas las preocupaciones desaparecieron. At that moment, all the fears, all the concerns disappeared. Y todo mi ser estaba en manos de ellos. And my whole being was in their hands. Me dieron seguridad. They gave me safety. Y desde ese momento sabía que estoy volviendo a casa. Since that moment I knew I'm going back home. El que vio las pequeñas películas que el ejército sacó se ve como nos llevan. So many of us have seen those, those movies, those clips in which you can see how they were taken. Hasta que ellos estamos en el helicóptero. Until we got to the helicopter. Y me dicen, mira hacia abajo las luces, eso es Palmajim. And they tell us, look down those lights, that's Palmajim. O sea, veníamos por el mar y vimos eso y me dicen, ahora de aquí, directo al Hospital Tel Hashomer Shiva. From now, we're going straight to Shiva Tel Hashomer Hospital. Y desde este momento, el ejército empieza a llamar a tu familia. And from now, the IDF is going to start calling your family. Se fue que llegamos al hospital donde nos han recibido espectacularmente. Made it to the hospital where they wonderfully welcomed us. Nos dieron ropa. We were given clothes. Abrazos. Todos los médicos. Hugs. Todas las enfermeras. All the doctors, all the nurses. Nos hicieron hablar por teléfono con los, con los hijos. They called que estaban children. en camino their children who were on their way. Y así fue que fueron llegando los hijos, los nietos, y nos íbamos abrazando, y por fin sentí realmente el calor de los abrazos. So they arrived one by one, and I finally was able to feel the warmth of their hugs, their embrace. Y luego, yo puedo decir que tenemos un pueblo extraordinario, como nos han eh, acogido y recibido en todos los lugares donde estuve, en todos lados. I can say that we were a wonderful people and that I felt welcome in all the places where I have been. Y siempre cantamos esta canción que dice I'm Israel High. And we always sing this song that says, I'm Israel High. I'm Israel High, I'm Israel High, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel High, I'm Israel High, I'm Israel High, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel High, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel High. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Chai. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Chai. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Chai. So to conclude, para para concluir, Luis, yo quiero contarte que nosotros todos los días, todos los días, en todos nuestros rezos, rezamos por ustedes, rezamos por los que siguen secuestrados, rezamos por los soldados. Y queremos aprovechar tu presencia acá para que te quedes junto con tu familia en la Bimá mientras le pedimos a la congregación que se ponga de pie para ofrecer una oración Pero por los soldados. Primero quiero decir. He wants todos, to say one more thing. Estamos aquí para contar la historia, para que todos sepan y que puedan hablar con otras personas que nos ayuden a que este día, el 7 de octubre, no se olvide, porque hemos venido aquí para 
hacer fuerza para poder liberar todos juntos a los 133 Hatufim. So we are here so that the story is not forgotten, so that everyone knows about October 7th. He's asking all of us to tell his story and for all of us to do whatever we have to do to bring the 133 hostages back home. <laughs> We're going to open the ark. Vamos a abrir el Arana Kodesh as we offer a prayer for the soldiers of the IDF, followed by a prayer for the safe return home of the hostages. Luis, I'm sure you said this prayer many times. Yo sé que seguro dijiste esta braja muchas veces, pero hay una braja que decimos cuando nos salvamos de un gran peligro. Mishe Ikmalha Kol Tov, U Ikmalha Kol Tov Sela, que aquel que te ha bendecido para retornar a casa lo siga haciendo, que pueda siempre estar rodeado de tu hermosa familia, de tus nietos, que pronto podamos ver a todos de vuelta en casa. Prayer for the IDF, you can find it on the inside cover of the Shabbat program. Mishe Israel, our rock and our redeemer, God of mercy, of compassion, we pray, we plead that you return these precious and beloved people home. Abraham ben Emuna, Ohad ben Esther, Ofer ben Kohava, Amiram ben Sara, Yoram ben Miriam, Matan ben Einav, Eitan ben Ruti, Yair ben Ruti, David ben Silvia, Ariel ben Silvia, Arbel bat Yael, Dolev ben Yael, Itzhak ben Hannah, Alexander ben Nina. Gadi Moshe ben Sara, Omri ben Veronica Esther, Tzachi ben Devora, Luror ben Yuval, Carmel bat Kineret, Tal ben Nitza, Ochad ben Esther, Eli ben Chana, Shlomo ben Marcel, Nadav ben Chana, Hamza ben Naima, Yusuf Hamis ben Halima. Kfir ben Shiri, Ariel ben Shiri, Shiri bat Margit, Yarden ben Pnina, Chaim ben Nechama. Zagi bat Naamit, Lior ben Ogenia, Doron bat Simona, Emily Tehila bat Amanda, Gali ben Talia, Ziv ben Talia, Keith Samuel ben Gladys, Yagev ben Esther, Nadab ben Hannah, Kaid Farhan al-Kadi. 
Liri bat Shira, Idan ben Yael, Karina bat Ira, Agam ben Merav, Naama bat Ayelet, Daniela bat Orli, Omar Maxim ben Orna Esther, Hisham ben Manal, Nimrod ben Vicky, Tamir ben Cherut, Matan ben Anat, Michel ben Solmira, Muhammad ben Samira, Ran ben Chana, Avra bat Agranesh, Elizabeth Chorkov, Abidatam ben Ditsa Tirza, Noa bat Liora, Elkana ben Ruhama, Amit Esther Chaya bat Ilana, Rom ben Tamar, Almog Meir ben Orit, Eresh ben Perlhana, Vijonatan Shimshon, Romi bat Meirab, Gai ben Meirab, Eden bat Shirit, Elia ben Sigalit, Eitan Abraham ben Efrat, Shlomi ben Rosita, Kanan ben Bered, Bar Abraham ben Julia, Eviatar ben Galia, Ori ben Einab, Orion Hernandez, Alon ben Idit, Yosef Chaim ben Miriam, Alex ben Oksana, Or ben Geula, Eliakim Shlomo ben Avishag, Almog ben Nira, Omer ben Niva, Segev ben Galit, Idan ben Dalit, Maxim ben Tala, Itzhak ben Gila, Andri ben Evgenia, Omer ben Shelly. Sathian, Suwan Kanam, Wacha, Surinian, Pon, Sak, Tena, Banawat, Setiao, Surasak, Romano, Sotia, Oksari, Sudak, Rith, and Lak, Nathapang, Pinta, Joshi, Bipin. Gadi ben Moshe ben Sara, Oded ben Bila, Omri ben Veronica, Esther, Tzachi ben Dvora, Dror ben Yuval, Carmel, Bat Kineret, Tal ben Nitza, Oad ben Esther, Eli ben Hana, Shlomo ben Marcel, Nadad ben Hana, Hamza ben Naima, Yusuf Hamis ben Halima, Vraham ben Emuna, Oad ben Esther, Ofer ben Kohava, Abiram ben Sara, Yoram ben Biriam, Matam ben Einab, Eitam ben Ruti, Yair ben Ruti. Source of mercy be at their side, support them, protect them, and quickly bring them back to the embrace of their families and all who love them. As we all say, Amen. 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 Standing for Aleinu, page 118. <laughs> ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגוהר עלינו ככל המונם ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא כתוב בתורתך, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ. ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד. ושמו, ושמו, ושמו. those observing your site remain standing the rest of us may be seated this coming week in our congregation we observe the following your sites with love we remember Lillian Bolatin, Jenny Bornstein, Jane Fink, Walzer, Edith Gampel, Joseph Gravois, Pedro Gruner, Ber Bernard Hauser, Harriet Israel, Louis Light, Fred Miller, Henry Moses, Marion Moses, Dorothy Rothstein, Carlos Rosenstrach, Sassen Suisa, Benny Dale Stein, and Shabbatai Yahya. Mourner's Kaddish, page 124. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah. Bialma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei. B'chayecho nevyomeycho nevchayei d'chol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala v'izman kari v'imru amei. Yehei shemei rabah mevorach l'olam al meyamaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitromam v'yitnasei. V'yitadar v'yitalei v'yitalal shemei d'kudisha b'richu. Ela min kol berchata v'shirata, tush berchata v'nechemata, da'amiran b'alma v'imru amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya. V'chayne malenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'ramav, u'ya ase shalom, alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. We're going to conclude our tefillah with Israel's national anthem, Hatikvah. If you're new to our congregation, 
and you want to learn more about what happens here day after day, week after week, take the Shabbat program guide home with you and be in touch with us. We have been all in on this moment, all in on our hostages, all in in support of the State of Israel and of the IDF. And we pray, God willing, that we will see one day reconciliation, even peace. But of course, first, the hostages home, our enemies defeated. Let's stand with Israel now and forever with our national anthem, Hatikva, the hope. Shabbat Shalom.